Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Uh, this is an update video on my prophetic dream about Brett Kavanaugh, where God... Uh, to give you like a brief update, go watch my other video. I had a dream, and uh, God spoke in the dream. To, to know what I'm talking about, you got to go back and watch the other video. My prophetic dream about Brett Kavanaugh, and then I gave a date of when I think that uh, it was likely the timeline when Trump will exit his office. Um, now, in the dream, God said, Kavanaugh went out there to raise his pathetic American flag which he thought was glorious, but really it was tattered and just not fit for flying. It was it was tattered and faded and had holes and it was old and it was not appropriately sized. It was ten sizes too small for the scale of the flagpole. He raised it and then it, as soon as it hit to the, t the top of the pole, he looked at it for a few moments and then it burst into flames. And then God's voice said, I'm sorry, but you brought forth a word in your statement that cannot exist on this plane. And the word is Moab. Moab. Now, I knew this ring to bell when, uh, when I heard it. Now, the interesting part about this is the juxtaposition, um, the double meaning. I heard the word Moab, 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 and but in my mind I saw the word mob, M-O-B, as in mafia, as in Russian mob, <laughs> probably. <clears throat> now what I think this means is the Russian mob was carrying was one of the main factions, probably, maybe this is what it means. I don't really know. Could just be my imagination. Could just be me linking things together that aren't connected. I don't know. That's for you to decide. But my, what I thought of was this. <clears throat> uh, mob. I think the more, maybe the Russian mob is one of the remaining factions holding up the principles of the Moab kingdom, the Moabites. They served the uh, ancient demonic gods. And all these rich bastards that run our country that are in these ancient dark mystery schools like the Bilderberg... Uh, the Bohemian Grove. Well, the Bilderberg is like a more of a... They're not a secret society more. They're like... A, where all the secret society people come meet up and then discuss what they're going to do in practical terms in the world. But like Skull and Bones and uh, Bohemian Grove. And there's like dozens of them. <clears throat> I don't want to list the whole of them. I mean, you know, who knows? They're all secret, so it's all kind of a mystery. But those two are highly suspect. <laughs> There's a lot of evidence to support that. Yeah, they're backing this trap up, this kind of crap. Okay, so what is Moab? Moab is the historical name for a mountainous tract in the land of Jordan. The land lies alongside much of the eastern shore of the Dead Sea. The existence of the kingdom of Moab is attest attested to by numerous archaeological findings, most notably... The Meshastis, I'm going to struggle with some of these words, I'm sorry. You know, I don't read these kind of language every day. The Meshastile, which describes the Moabite victory over an unnamed son of, an unnamed son of King Amari of Israel. The Moabite capital uh, was Dibona. Okay. According to the Hebrew Bible, Moab was often in conflict. Now, this is important. With the Israelite neighbors to the west. This was like they were allied with these Ammon kingdom here. Anyway. Then it talks about etymology. The word meaning. And I will, I'll pause on this if you want to read this. Pause. Okay. I mean, you just go to Wikipedia, it's, it's there. But, there's more stuff I didn't, but then here we go. 
According to Genesis, <clears throat> the ancestor of the Moabites was Lot by incest devil, with his eldest daughter. She and her sister, having lost their fiancés and their mother in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. So the Moabites, these are the, 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 the like, they did incarnations to demons and shit. Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. Uh, decided, destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah decided to continue their father's line through intercourse with their father. Twisted. The elder got him drunk to facilitate the deed and conceived Moab, the demon. <laughs> the younger daughter did the same and conceived a son named whatever that demon's name is. I'm not going to just say these names because right now St. Michael is vanquishing them and the names are not needed to be said right now because right now they're being uh, purged from this universe. They're being exorcised. Who became ancestor to the Ammonites? According to the book of Josh, Joshua, Moab had four sons, Ed, Mayon, these people. Well, it was funny. One was just named Ed, and then these are all the other weird names, okay? Don't name your son Ed. Anyway, and his wife, the name given, uh, not given, Canaan, geography, this tells about where it is. You want to pause and read that, or you can just go to Wikipedia. History. <clears throat> okay, here we go. More. If you want to pause and read news economy, if you want to read that. Okay, history. Despite a scarcity of archaeological evidence, the existence of Moab prior to the rise of the Israelite state has been the Deduced from a colossal statue erected at Luxor by Pharaoh Ramses II in the 13th century. It's interesting. BCE, which lists Moob. Also, that's kind of the way God sound, sounded when God said it. Moob. Moob. So it was, yeah. It was, it was a weird, the way the syllable came out. It was like a really inflection of like various, it was weird. Among a series of Nations conquered during a campaign. Early modern travelers in the region. Okay, well, uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Biblical and other narratives. This is where it gets more interesting. According to the biblical account, Moab and the other demon were born to Lot and Lot's elder and younger daughters. All right. Respectively, um, in the aftermath of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible refers to both the Moabites and the Ammonites as Lot's sons, born of incest with the daughters. Mm -hmm. and this talks about where they inhabited. More if you want to pause on this. Talks about how God renewed his covenant with the Israelites to, at Moab, at the place, before the Israelites entered the promised land. And that's another significant piece. Of course, Moses didn't make the cut and made God angry. <laughs> it was the Old Testament God. Anyway, God lightened up the <laughs> New Testament a little bit. Okay, here we go. More important stuff. After the destruction of the first temple, the knowledge of which people belong to the knowledge of which people belong to which nation was lost. Well, that didn't make any sense. Right here. After the destruction of the first temple, the knowledge of which people belong to which nation was lost. And the Moabites were treated the same as other Gentiles. As a result, all, they blended in with us. As a result, all men, and then they could maintain their secret evil religion in, in, the, in the mystery schools. As a result, all members of the nations could convert to Judaism without restriction. Uh, at the disruption of the kingdom under the reign of whoever that dude is, Moab seems to have been absorbed into the northern realm. It continued to vassalage to the kingdom of Israel until the death of Ahab 
uh, which according to ER, whoever that dude is reckoning, was in about 50 or 5, 853 BCE when the Moabites refused to pay tribute and asserted their independence, making war upon the kingdom of Judea. Not good. Okay, after the death of Ahab in about 853 BCE, the Moabites under Mesha rebelled against Jer Jerome, who allied himself with Josaphat, king of the kingdom of Judea, and with King Edom, according to the Bible. Um, the prophet Elijah directed the Israelites to dig a series of ditches between themselves, and this is interesting too, and the enemy. And during the night, these channels were miraculously filled with water, which was <clears throat> as red as blood. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need a drink. According to the biblical account, the crimson color deceived the Moabite, de deceived the Moabites and their allies into attacking one another, leading to their defeat at Ziz near in Gedi. Gedi. Mm. These names. Mm, hard, to, hard to enunciate. Anyway, we're not used to these words. <clears throat> According to Mesha's interpretation on the Mesha steel, however, uh, he was completely victorious and reigned all the territory of which Israel had deprived him. The Battle of Zizi is the last important date in the history of the Moabites as recorded in the Bible. In the year of Elijah's death, they invaded Israel, not good, and later aided Nebuchadnezzar in his expedition against wherever that is. Although allusions to M Moab are frequent in prophetic books, that's an important factor. Uh, and although two chapters of Isaiah 15 and 16 and one of Jeremiah 48, which I need to go back and read these, are devoted to the burden of Moab. Mm, that's interesting. I've got to go back and study on that. Maybe I'll make another video on that too. Uh, they give little information about the land uh, and its prosperity and pride, which the Israelites believed in, which the Israelites believed incurred the wrath of God and frequently mentioned and their contempt for Israel is once is once expressly noted and this talks about the demon god religion references to the religion of Moab are scant most of the Moabites followed the ancient Semitic religion like other ancient Semitic speaking peoples and the book of Numbers says that they included the Israelites to join they induced not included they induced the Israelites to join and their sacrifices their chief god was that demon and the Bible refers to them as the people of this demon uh, and they did human sacrifices which is what the damn Satanists do, who still serve these bastards. According to Kings, Second Kings, rather, at times, especially in dire peril, human sacrifices, aka the cremation of care at the Bohemian Grove, where they're, at the Bohemian Grove, they're literally worshiping Moloch. And that is another name for uh, Satan, who is of these, this shit. There's a bunch of names. But at the Bohemian Grove, that's the name they choose to give the beast. And that's the deity they honor. And it's supposed to be a mock human sacrifice. That cremation of care shit they do out in the woods. Uh, there's a video of it on YouTube. Go look it up. It's real. Ronald Reagan, they all, every one of them are involved. Nixon talked about it on his tapes. He's like, you go down to that Bohemian Grove... It's the faggotiest shit you ever saw. <laughs> Quote. That's what he said. So yeah, they get up to a bunch of dark shit out there in the woods, and they start. They do all these pagan rituals, mock or real human sacrifices. Not really sure. It's probably mock. We would hope. Yeah, you got Newt Gingrich and all these pieces of shit out there. They are the Moabites. For following these old demon gods. 
About half the fucking politicians are in this shit. And that's why we have all these fucking wars. So they can feed the demon energy. With human sacrifice. Wake up! You gotta take a side. So that's what that dream was about. The Moabites, these old demon gods are being banished. Back to hell where they belong. St. Michael's coming through with the sword of truth and this shit can't exist here anymore. So be gone with your demon asses. According to the book of Jeremiah, Moab was exiled to Babylon for his arrogance and idolatry. According to Russia, uh, it was also due to their gross ingratitude, even though Abraham, Israel's ancestor, had saved Lot, Moab's ancestor from Sodom. Jeremiah's prophecies that Moab's captivity will be returned in the end of days, and now they are going back to hell. If you want to read about the decline and fall. Yeah, that's what's happening, people. That's what the dream was. That's what it was. So. We best get on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ right quick. Because soon. It's all going to come out in the wash. St. Michael. The ascension of the cosmic Christ is upon us. St. Michael is clearing the way. And we will manifest heaven on earth. We'll be done with all these evil pieces of shit. They're on the way out. Don't live in fear. Don't live in hate. Don't live in anger. Don't act in anger. We can express it. We can creatively express it and set up pathways and guides, goal posts, sign posts. We have to mark the way so that this, these energies, they're dead now. They're gone. We have to understand them so that they can never again even think they can try to come back because they're not going to. They're done. It's over. You wait and see.